So just another quick video about Ultra GDA 2024 and a specific feature called Effect Banks and also some recent enhancement to that feature. So what is this? Well, it's actually kind of a hidden feature. Uh, you don't really bump into it uh, unless you know about it or actually it's also pre-mapped on some controllers. So in that case, you'll bump into it. But it, what it is, is it's actually collection of effects. So that means that you can have a collection or a bank, if you will, uh, of some effects like these three ones or actually it also works in sex effects mode like this, but let's just go back to these three. And then you can click a button and it'll switch all three of them at the same time to send another collection or bank of effects. And that can be pretty useful because you may have uh, three effects that you prefer to use for scratching and three other ones that you use while regular DJing. So you can go back and forth just in, in one click between these collection of effects. And then of course, use them on your hardware. Um, and you can do that by uh, by scripting it. So I have the script right here, so we can check it out. So this simply says effect bank load one, and this other one says effect bank load two. So when I click over to two, we get three new effects: cut, distortion, and war in one go. And then I can go back and have echo, flanger, and reverb again, just like before. So that's basically what it does. And like I said, it also works on six uh, effects mode. And then you can probably noticed before, that's also called something called effect bank save. So if you make changes to your selection or collection or bank, if you will, you can save it, you can store it into a slot, like in this case, it's slot one, right? That's a little bit of scripting. So that's maybe not something you, you wanna do, but luckily someone made a, a pad page for it. So if we go into extensions here and go into paths and search for manager, you can see we have an FX banks manager here. Uh, so that, uh, that works on, on banks and it works on the paths. I already have that installed, so I don't need to do anything. I just need to select it. So I'll select it down here. So here it is, FX manager. And you can see it right now says I'm in bank one and it just basically mirrors its other here, right? Actually, I have four banks on this, and you can see I can click three and four, and I can also store new ones. Another thing I could do is I could change something if I don't want docking echo here as the first effect in bank four. I could just choose maybe a flanger, and then I could right click or shift click on the controller, bank four, and now it's stored in bank four. So if I go back to bank three, and back to bank four again. You can see now the top one is flanger. And of course, if I go back to bank two and bank one, we get into the, the slots that are mapped on the buttons. So that's where they come into play like that. So that's probably an easier way to set it up. There's also a, uh, a global setting here. So you can have it change all the decks um, at one go, or you can have it ch uh, ch change just one deck in one go. So that's uh, another little specific thing. Um, and like I said, uh, the way you may discover this stuff is if it's pre-mapped on a controller. So right now, if you see here, I have a, a controller connected. That's my Roland DJ707M. And it actually has some effects uh, buttons on it. So let's go into uh, to the manual and look. So I switch to the manual here. So you can see it has two effects up here, 28. So that's a channel one, channel two kind of thing. And then if I go down here and look at that, 28. Uh, eight and also 28 in multi effects mode, it says these buttons are not pre assigned to any virtual DJ script. But they are, they are actually pre assigned to uh, bank one and bank two. So if uh, that's just, well, probably an older manual, I guess they haven't fixed that yet. So if I click those buttons down here, uh, the one I just show, showed you, you can see it goes back between bank one and bank two here. So I can actually on my controller very swiftly go between selections of effects and then I can of course start using those effects on the controller. So that's pretty cool, even though it's a little thing on, uh, on the manual that it, it didn't say. But I'll get back to this in a second, uh, back to the controller and what do I want to remap it to the brand new uh, enhancement. We'll get back to that in, in a second. Um, 
because there are two new things we can do with, with these banks. And I've mapped those down here. And what they, those two say, it's effect bank load minus one and effect bank load plus one. And like I said, I have currently four banks. So now instead of going between one and two, I can use these to go to, to bank one, to bank two, to bank three, to bank four, and back to bank one, because I currently have four banks defined and stored, right? And of course, the same way, the other, the other direction, right? So that's pretty cool. So that actually I have more than just the two banks and the two buttons. It lets me have lots of banks. And of course, you have to have some way of recognizing it, either this thing, or maybe just know what effects are in each bank, but I think it's still pretty cool. So that's actually what I want to do on my controller. So instead of having the current script, if we look into it here, you can see if I go into edit mapping and go down to effects, these two ones, it does something with samples, but when it's not doing that, it's doing effect bank load one and effect bank load two, but I don't want to do that. I want to do effect bank minus one and effect bank plus one and store that. So now when I use my controller, instead of going just between bank one and bank two, let me just switch this back to the effects manager. So now uh, instead of going between one and two, when I click the buttons on the controller, let me just do that, it go, it loops or sw switches or cycles through all my defined effect banks and they're ready for use. So that, I think that's pretty cool. And I think if you have the bank one, bank th two thing set up here, you probably might want to remap it to the new ones, which, so that's the enhancement that you can go with plus one and minus one, instead of having to say the exact bank, that's the, uh, that's the enhancement that was in, uh, in the latest virtual DJ, or actually it's the second latest right now, but still it's there in the latest public release. So that's probably one you, you wanna use or, and remap your controller to if you already have this feature. And if you don't have it, you might wanna think about adding it so you can s uh, swiftly uh, go between uh, multiple collection of effects. So that's basically that for, uh, for this video. And I'll of course put the, the, the scripts and also the, uh, uh, the name of, of this, uh, of this uh, patch, uh, patch page here in the in description, so you can go get it and you can play with it.